Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at a Sixth Sense. I'm here speaking with community manager Steve. And Steve, can you sort of tell us about what we're looking at here, the, the STEM? Yes, that is one of the STEM controllers from our STEM system. And basically STEM is our latest wire, wireless tracking device for virtual reality, games, you know, military, medical, architectural, a lot of different verticals. The goal of these devices is, is to provide gamers with like one-to-one -one controls, right? Absolutely. With, um, you know, with it being uh, wireless, uh, do you guys, I mean, is, is, is latency something that you guys worry about? Not so much. I mean, we, you know, we have some very proprietary technology built into these that minimize that. I mean, the controller you have there, we, you know, we're looking at like 4.2 milliseconds of latency from the time you move to the time it updates on your screen. What I did notice though is that you guys are targeting a standing experience, whereas I know Oculus, uh, they've said in the past that, you know, Oculus Rift is a sitting experience. Um, can you sort of explain that the, the Sort of two opposing viewpoints there. Yeah, I can't really speak for Oculus. You know, I, I I know that their concerns with the seated experience probably have to do with you know health and safety issues, but um, but they're also using a camera-based tracking technology for the head mount, which you know sort of necessitates you being in front of your monitor, in front of the camera, you know, to achieve the head tracking. With, with our system, you know, you, in essence, will have a, an 18-foot diameter area that you could wander freely around in and have full tracking the whole time. So you guys are actually bypassing the, the Oculus Rift camera, you guys, via a sort of almost, looks like a battery pack that you add onto it's, the it's, back here. Right, it's the stem pack that you were seeing attached to the, to the Oculus Rift. And that's what we're using to provide the, the head tracking and positioning. So when you were doing the, the lightsaber demo and the shooting gallery demo, you, you, know, you were able to, to duck and move side to side and you weren't worrying about you know, being anything getting in the way of you know, like your, the camera occluded by you know, someone walking behind you, you raising your hand, blocking the camera, etc. I mean, using the, the stem, you didn't have any of those issues at all. And so I noticed that when we tried the demos out, all the demos we used uh, two controls, two stems. Uh, are you guys going to be shipping each unit as a pair? The we have preset bundles with STEM that you can you can order them from you know two controllers up to you know two controllers and three STEM packs. But really, I mean, it's modular. I mean, as as long as you have your base, you can have you know any combination of up to five tracking units for each base. You can have you know one controller and four packs. Or you know, if you just want to use one controller, you can just buy the base and one controller. You know, one interesting thing about the stem is that you can add like you know peripherals to it. Um, like we were playing the the gun demo, and then you added like the top of the gun to the to the stem. Can you sort of talk about those? Yeah, those uh those are you know any object that you want to 3D print out and attach to your stem controller. You have the freedom to do that. We were providing you know the the CAD files and the you know, so you have the right size plug and things like that that you can that you can attach to it. And basically, you know, like you said, when you're trying the, um, the shooting gallery demo, there was a 3D printed gun barrel on the controller, which you obviously couldn't see because you're in a rift. But it does add to the the immersion, the sense of presence when you have the weight and balance, if you will, of of the gun barrel on your controller rather than just you know a naked controller. And you guys have uh, plans beyond just just VR as well. We looked earlier. We looked at a a demo where you guys were. Uh, playing around with like a, a CAD um, sort of software. Yeah, that's an application called Make VR, and that's a professional CAD engine that has a gamified two point of control interface built on top of it. So, you know, it's a very natural, very intuitive thing to learn and to use. And um, again, using the STEM controllers, but it'll also work with Hydras, you know, it'll work with camera controllers also, if you will, because that is an, a seated experience, you know, but you can also do it in a rift, you know, and have your 3D content floating around in space be inside the model you're working on, in essence. Yeah, you were telling about a story earlier about how uh, the daughter of the CEO created um, like a like a block of cheese almost. Yeah, and, well, it was an iPhone 4S case she made. She, uh, she came into the office one day, I guess her better judgment, and her dad put her to work. Mm -hmm. He sat in front of the computer and gave her the, gave her the controls and gave her a really brief introduction to make VR. And she took an iPhone 4S blank that was downloaded from GrabCat, I believe. And she, it was just a, you know, standard white blank phone case. She just took a sphere, started punching some holes in it, 
turned it yellow and named it her Swiss cheese case, which she then, you know, unbeknownst to her, when she came in the next day, her dad had sent off to the printer. So when she came in the office, she had it, she could hold it in her hand, stick her phone in it, take it to school and show her friends, which is really kind of cool because it's, you know, not something she bought, you know, online or at Target. It is something that she designed herself, you know, the only one of its kind on the planet. And there's, there she is with, in her hand with her phone in it. It was kind of cool. You guys have a release date or price yet? We're, uh, the, the prices are all on the website, you know, and, um, and we're, you know, assuming that the tooling for the, for the manufacturing molds goes smoothly. We're going to start shipping the product in December, January timeframe. Sweet. It's coming up soon. Very soon. All right. Thanks, guys.